Okay. All right. Now we got the big show. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Hello, everyone around the world. I'm Jeff Keeley, and welcome to Gamescom Opening Night Live, a preview of this holiday's biggest games and a sneak preview of what lies beyond. Okay, Over let's the see it. In two hours, we're going to announce new God games, damn. show you the first full Holy gameplay shit. demo of Call of Duty Vanguard alongside Holy Star Laura shit, Bailey. Boys. the first new look in a year at LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Get an update on Death Stranding Director's Cut for PlayStation mm -hmm. 5 and debut the story trailer for Far Cry 6. Okay, Plus, we're going to find out cool. who's in that Super Monkey Ball and so much more we can't tell you about just yet. Wait, Plus, Super Monkey Ball? Lindsay Sterling no way. To perform one of the themes no of fucking Diana's way, Super Monkey Ball. Tales of Arise. Now, all told, more than 40 games Bro. will be showcased. From the biggest ones in the world Don't get to me excited. smaller independent titles, including one game made by a single developer. Wow. I love putting together these shows, and I hope more than anything, you walk away excited about the future of games, no matter where or how you play. Cool. Now, before we start, I just want to give a special hello to everyone in Germany, the home Why? of Gamescom. We really oh. hope to see you in person in 2022. That's nice. But now it's oh, time yeah, to get yeah. on with That's the show. That's what they announced Legion. And we're starting with the global I announcement about that. of a new game. Okay, all right, let's see it. World premiere. Here we go, guys. Looks good. Unreal 5, maybe. That looks really, really nice. Goddamn. Shooting iron. Okay. Okay, got eyes on the bar? Uh, here he comes. Alrighty. And I got the dealer. There's no way it's Grand Theft Auto Five or Six. There's no way. They're here. You should have eyes on the merchandise. I sure do. Was that a gunshot? Yeah, they shot the dealer. Uh, that is so unprofessional. Damn. There's a lot of them. Can we do this? We can't afford oh, that. Oh shit. Thing. Nina, you good? Oh yeah, damn. Let's do it. Saints Great. Row? Yeah, it seems ready, like it. What do you guys think it's I never played one of these games before. Oh, what the Jesus fuck is it? Carnage. What's that hat? Hey guys. What you got in the Oh, stolen Marshall MDI-101 M9 multi-rocket shoulder launchers. Nice. My buddies and I have been looking all over town for those. Have you been hoarding? See, we need them for our startup. It's a criminal empire, I got it. Go, 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 go! What, why would you run away from somebody with a rocket launcher? Are you crazy? After him! That's insane. How's that work? This is okay. All right, that was cool. That was 100% cool. That was badass. It's okay, I guess. I've never really been into games like this, though. I, I don't know if I'd ever want to play this. Girl power? Yeah, true. Let me guess. The game doesn't play this way. Yeah, the game. does, does the game not play this way? Saints Row games are great. It does. Yeah, I don't know. I I've never played one before, so it's all new to me. It's okay. It sort of does. It does. You become the president. Get the fuck away from my friends. Damn. Damn. Get out of my friend. Yeah, yeah. Is it even Saints Row? I don't know. 
as I've said, I've never played one before, so I don't really have a frame of reference. The boob slider is really good in the game. Well, maybe we'll try it out. Yeah, we can try it out. It's all right. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Just whatever. Now, last week, Call of Duty Vanguard was announced okay. for release on November 5th. Wow. And this weekend, the PlayStation Alpha will be live with the Champion Hill mode. But now it's time to get the first ever look at the campaign in action. Okay. And to do that, we are joined by Dave Swenson from Sledgehammer Games and Laura Bailey, one of the stars of the show and the winner last year of Best Performance at the Game Awards. Great to have you guys <laughs> Crazy. with us. Crazy. I don't remember so that at all. We are so excited to get into the real gameplay. But first, I assume Dave, that I watched uh, it last year. You guys year. did Call of Duty uh, Wait, World she's War Jaina? a couple years ago, 2017 at Sledgehammer. Now you're going back to WWE. Wait, she did Jaina's How voice? How is Vanguard different than what you did before? First of all, I got to say, it's awesome to be here. That's so thank crazy. You so much. I didn't Thanks. even know that. Uh, and wow. it's also like, it's super, you know, thrilling oh to be able to represent the team um, behind Vanguard. So Vanguard is a totally new take on World War II. Uh, World War II is known for huge epic battles on big battlefields. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and those happen not only in the Western Front, but also in the Eastern Front, in the Pacific, in North Africa. Yeah. And in Vanguard, you're going to be able to go to all of those locations and play in all those locations. That's cool. But for the team, something that, was, that resonated even more with us were the real stories of the real people who fought in World, World War, II. War II. So these are diverse yeah. people from all around the globe. Uh, and, and I don't know, there's, there's something very inspiring about these true stories. Now, some of the most interesting people that we discovered in our research were those men and women who were part of the original Special Forces teams. And so Call of Duty Vanguard is going to tell their story, tell the story of the birth of Special Forces. Cool. Well, Laura, uh, we saw last week the That's reveal fine. that you're going to be in this game, which is, I know it's been a lifelong dream of yours to be in a Call of Duty. <laughs> it has. Uh, your character, it ties into what Dave's talking about. Tell us about your character, Paulina Petrova. Yes, yeah. I am thrilled to be in my first Call of Duty game. Uh, it's crazy because there's not, you know, a lot of female roles in media about historical war for obvious reasons. And that's one of the for things obvious that struck reasons, me about yes. Paulina. And when I started researching yes. for the role was how many women were actually in the Soviet army in World War II. There were tank operators and there were fighter pilots and some of them like Polina were uh, snipers. And it's actually so true. It's, it's just really cool to get to play a character. One of the snipers is like, I think maybe like the sniper Ludmilla with the, the most confirmed is, kills ever was, was a female. one of the deadliest snipers of all time. Wow. All right. Well, I, I love that you guys. It might take, be actually you know, her. I, I don't know if it is or not. Put the Call of Duty uh, spin on it. Uh, the most let's kills? talk yeah. a bit about what you guys are going to show so today. That actually I know, is true. You know, Treyarch's working on zombies. You guys are working on an awesome campaign. We saw some multiplayer this weekend, but now we're going to do Wolf? kind no. of a full a level playthrough of a bunch of stuff uh, in the game. What no, are we I about the to most, see here? Most That's kills, right. So not as the I most mentioned react react earlier, um, the, the Vanguard campaign is telling the, oh, story, the story of the birth of Special Forces. And that leads right into that multiplayer. On day one, there's going to be 20 maps That's so just that what people I heard. can go in and play their, their favorite Special Forces operators, one of which is Polina Petrova. There you go. And cool. so uh, what we're going to show today, which we're really excited to show, this is, this is gameplay. This was captured in-engine. Um, and we're going to show uh, Polina's story. Now, mm -hmm. the, the Vanguard campaign starts with, with the team, Polina Petrova and her team, on their first Special Forces mission going into Berlin right cool. at the end of the war um, in April of 1945. But this wasn't the start of the war for Polina. Um, Polina started the war as a nurse um, on the Eastern Front. And so what we're going to see uh, um, right now is, is Stalingrad. We're going to see Polina um, in Stalingrad and, and view her experience when Stalingrad was invaded by the Germans. Okay. Uh, Laura, any let's set up it. here for what point in, in Paulina's life or character yeah, arc we're gonna see? Yeah, let's see it. Yeah, I mean, at the start of the game, you really see her as a, as a total Stalingrad? badass. Stalingrad, you know, no. She's no nonsense, nothing rattles her. And that's not an act, she's, she's seen it all. She's looked, she's looked the devil in the eye and said, I'm coming for you. And in this level, you really get to see what, what makes her become that way, you know, she's, she's bright and almost innocent in her outlook and uh she's hot. happens <laughs> okay. all right well it's about to happen right here guys thank you so much for joining all right, us here we, we go now. let's see it going to get this extended look at call of duty vanguard enjoy okay. Decent. Decent. Okay. 
I mean, graphics look good. I mean, for sure. Yeah, it's all right. Show Eisenhower. Yeah, I'm sure they'll get to that. Damn, this looks like my house. What the fuck? Camera too steady, yeah. Take it. Oh my. Jesus. God damn. All right. This is okay. Damn. It's okay. This is all right. Looks more of the same. It does. It does. Okay, you can parkour around. That's nice. I feel like every game has parkour now. Okay, kill the Nazis. Yeah, I see that. What the fuck? I mean, the world design, I think, is pretty good. Yeah, I, I like it. What do you guys think? Almost lifelike? I, it, it's got a way to go before it's actually almost lifelike, but it looks good. It definitely looks good. Okay. Yeah, this looks really nice. Graphics are great. I just hope the game is... Oh, a sniper. Okay, yeah, here we go. We got the car 98. Hmm. Oh, shit. They're going to just pop them off. God damn. Did you shoot his head? What are you doing shooting down there? God damn. God damn. Scuff scope. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is good. Oh, can you shoot through walls? That was one of the coolest things about CS, uh, like CSGO. Or like just Counter-Strike in general. Is that you could just shoot through walls. I thought that shit was badass. Yeah. It's a car? Yeah, yeah. God damn. Man, for a nurse, she's... Man, she's good at shooting. Bro, these soldiers are worse than stormtroopers. What are they doing? Damn, no wonder they lost the war. Bro, they're getting destroyed. God damn. I'm a healer, but yeah, true. God damn. The tank's running away. Smart. Oh my god. Enemy aim? Yeah, I know. got to assume that like on a uh, on like the expert mode or like the hardest mode they probably just like laser you down in like two seconds I would not this seems like a bad idea dude to just go over wooden planks while a tank is driving over them yeah that seems like a mistake it's like a big fucking mistake Okay, well, what the hell is she trying to go down? Oh, getting in the air duct. How's he not hear that? How's he not fucking hear that? Planks of steel, yeah, apparently. Okay. Okay. 
Too much occlusion. Yeah, what do you guys think of the game so far? Yeah. It, it seems all right. I mean, it doesn't necessarily like, I, I don't see this and I'm not like, oh my God, this is crazy, but it's all right. You got the Molotov cocktails. Decent enough. Okay. Oh, she got bopped. This is a weird Spider-Man game. It's a... Shut up. It's not a Spider-Man game at all. What are y'all crazy? Y'all are insane. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this is. It's not a Spider-Man game. It's typical Russia. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, so she was already a soldier now. Okay, so she wasn't even a nurse then. This isn't like she got radicalized in war. She was already a soldier. Okay. Maybe, I think? I don't know. It's hard to say. Where's Spider-Man? He's going to come up. He's going to be up in just a few minutes. Yeah, they're, they're going to bring him in. I like how they have a rat in there, you know, just to make it realistic. It's important. Man, I bet being in World War II would suck. Like, that would just fucking suck. This is Captain America? Yeah. You think? Yeah, for real. Like, you got no internet. What the hell is this? Oh, wow. That was that was actually cool. Like straight up that was cool. I like that. They just like randomly fucking fly in there. God damn. God damn. Oh my god. It's a fucking bloodbath. Jesus! Yeah, this is alright. I like this. This is cool. Like, how everything's getting destroyed and shit. This is badass. The bricks are a little bit, uh, you know... Alright. Jesus. I do feel like this is kind of like, you know, just walking simulator type content. You know what I mean? Need Sabaton in the background? Very true. Okay. This is good. This is good. She died? No, she didn't die. She's the main character. She's not supposed to die. No, that's not how it works. You can't die, you're the main character. So. This is cool. Ooh. Ooh. Like everything's sliding down and shit. This is actually cool. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's badass. Like obviously like the game itself is whatever, but I just I like the the perspective change, etc. I think that's cool. Yeah, broke their knees. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Vanguard. I thought the Vanguard was the anti-cheat. I, I didn't realize that was what the game was called. I thought it was like the anti-cheat mechanism. Next up, a surprise for you okay. guys. Okay, surprise. Halo Infinite. I had a lot of fun a few weeks ago in the first multiplayer tech test, which was a huge success. Oh. And now, let's enter the world of Halo Infinite's multiplayer. Okay. Let's do it. I'm ready. Got the Covenant ships. Wow. There's a brute. So they're taking over Earth now? Is that right? Oh my 
god. Why are you here? To fight. To win. Is this Spartan is this Spartan training? Yeah. Spartans. There's always been female Spartans in the story. What is a Spartan? Okay. A Spartan the graphics look great. Oh, shit. Damn, dude. Master Chief, dude, holy shit. Or is it Chief? I don't know if that's Master Chief or not. I guess maybe it might not be. That's still fucking badass. This is cinematic. Yeah, I know. That's not the Chief. For a second, I thought it was. Nope. Graphics are insanely fucking good. God damn. And together. Together. We are unstoppable. Candidates, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Well, how'd she get so tall? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Again. She grew like two. She grew two feet. What the hell? Who's first? Spartan armor, maybe. Yeah. Is it like Master Chief in the story? Like, is he like six foot seven or something like that? Yeah, he's supposed to be, yeah, he's big as hell. To tell us more, I'm excited to welcome Joseph Staten, the head of creative for Halo Infinite. He's Hi, Joseph, how you doing? All right, Jeff. All right, let's see how you been? It's That's great to cool. be with you in person. Yes, yeah, he's, thank he's you a so big much dude. for coming down all the way from Seattle. I yeah. know you guys are, are working very hard on the game, yep, yep. but you made the trek to Opening Night Live. That's cool. a lot to us. Uh, what did we just see there? So that was the introduction to Halo Infinite multiplayer's first free-to-play season, where you'll oh. meet Commander Agrinia the leader of a whole new generation of Spartans. And Agrinia is a key character as you begin your own personal Spartan journey. So it's like free to play? You can play this for free? Season season. What well, the it fuck? Looks, uh, it looks great. Uh, wow. Speaking of multiplayer, yep. uh, the, the That's tests, insane. Yeah, I was playing a couple weeks ago, tons of fun. I know- Oh, did team, you play? Yes, That's and the great. team had- Makes me a little bit a nervous, great right? Feedback from the fans. It's We're real. free to play. Uh, we know what comes and I next. Everyone wants to know how is development going on the so game? So we'll see. Yeah, well, like you said, we started flighting our multiplayer earlier uh, mm -hmm. this month. And I gotta say, it was great to see the positive reaction and all the energy that came out of the test. A lot of people like the multiplayer. Um, and I just want to thank everybody for jumping in. Transactions, yes, time, exactly. We're putting the finishing touches. That's what we're worried on about. Our most wide open and adventure filled Halo campaign ever. Yeah. Yes. And today, uh -huh. I would like to announce that Halo Infinite's campaign and multiplayer will launch together on December eighth this year. December 8th, it's real, there coming it this wow. holiday, just as you promised. Well, I know you and the team wow. are working so hard uh, to there land it is, dude. Exciting, the, you know, campaign. And dude, that's player. really we'll soon. Be coming Holy this year shit. because it's it's kind of an important year. It's that's the crazy. Twentieth anniversary of God Xbox damn. and Halo, right? That's right. It's a big year, and um, for this twentieth anniversary, awesome. we might have something a little special up our sleeves. Oh, okay. okay. What is it? Well, uh, shall we take what a look? It? Why don't we? Let's do it. Get ready. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, they're not just trying to sell you another Xbox, are they? Actually looks cool. Yeah, that looks that looks cool. Like straight up, that does look cool. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that that's that's badass. I, I like it. I buy it. That's I mean, like, some controller. If I was a, yeah, I, I, I am a Halo now, fan, right? Jeff, not as, not as much as I used to be. But I think it looks do, cool. 
one more thing. Oh, there's more. Just one. Okay. Okay. Right, here uh, here's the last thing. I think. The smart. Right, Joe, thank you very much. Let's Thanks, take a look Jeff. at this. For them to not just have the controllers be the announcement. You know what I mean? Okay. Now what? This is Spartan 117. Can anyone hear me? Over. We need to fight. Oh, shit. That's the chief. That's the chief. Get ready. What is this? Look. Okay. Until they give me real Spartan armor that allows me to go into space and jump on top of buildings, please. Do, do not do not confuse me. We 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 are now like we've got two controllers. Okay, next up, it's time for another brand new game announcement. An unholy but adorable union yeah. between developer Massive Monster and Devolver Digital. How many this roguelike does action cool. adventure is set in a super cute and undeniably dark world. Okay. Coming next year, here is the exclusive reveal of Cult of the Lamb. Cult of the what? What the fuck? Of the lamp? Did it say lamp or lamb? It said lamb. Damn. Satanic goats. Wait. Trees? I'm in. Uh, I I'm in, dude. I'm totally fucking in. Oh my god. Oh. This is. Oh my god. This reminds me of like Invader Zim for some reason. Probably people that grew up watching Invader Zim in middle school made this game. Yeah, let's be honest. It looks cool. Like, honestly, like, I, I like the uh, the juxtaposition, right? You've got the super cute little cats, and they're also satanic evil demons. You know, that's cool. Yeah, it's all right, man. Happy tree friends. We yeah, love to show off all games the old, made old by people, yeah. big teams on opening night live. Absolutely. And also small that's teams. That's cool. Like one person. This next okay. game was first previewed at let's Gamescom 2020. And now this single developer, yeah. a 30-year-old father in Poland, is back to show us an update on a really exciting game that caught my eye for its over-the-top action. It is coming next year to consoles, PC, and Xbox Game Pass. I hope you enjoy it. It's a little over the top, but so it looks so fun. So one guy made the game. This is Midnight Fight Express. Okay, let's see it. Dude, this reminds me of like the old Flash games I used to play. Holy fuck. Do you remember those you would play on a browser? 
Oh my god. It's not bad at all. It, it It's pretty damn good, especially for one guy who made it. That is unreal. Oh my god. Wow. Jesus. Remember, no Russia. It's Amarath. <laughs> I got my pizza. Right. I got my manhole. That must mean it's TMNT Shredder's Revenge time. Cool. Now, earlier this year, this game uh, captured our imaginations and hearts with its reveal, bringing those righteous okay. ninjas to PC cool. and Nintendo Switch in 2022. Today, he's got we've got the reveal ready? of a yeah, new he's got his manhole character, ready, guys. that's right, who is set for some action-packed combat just, he did against say that. Foot Clan's oh devious soldiers, including the nah. reveal of team attacks, watch for that, oh and yes, God. the ability to revive a turtle via strategic use of pizza. Uh, you know what? I think that's pretty realistic. I like that. Yeah, that's good. Dude, do y'all ever remember? Dude, playing this shit back in the arcade. Dude, playing these games back in the fucking arcade, man. Oh my god. And like, you go to like a pizza place like Gotti's Pizza or some shit, right? Oh my god. Wow. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. That is so badass. It's one of the best arcade games, dude. Second best. The best was the Simpsons one. Remember that? That was my favorite. Oh my god. Yeah, this is really, really fucking good, too. I remember, I thought this one was way harder. Yeah, I see that. Wow. That's cool to just make games like that. It's funny that people get as hyped up for a game like that as something else. It's like... Okay. That's exactly... This year, that's I am exactly happy to welcome what I Natasha expected. Becker from Webedia yeah. as our co-host, who will be updating you on all that's great. things Gamescom, yeah, she can heal. including the Clearly. Gamescom Awards and what's in store for fans at Gamescom Digital. Okay. Take it away, Natasha. Einen wunderschönen guten Abend aus Deutschland. Hello and greetings from Germany. I'm Natasha what Becker up? and I'm super excited to be here hosting this show with you, Jeff, even though we are thousands of miles apart. Yes, Gamescom is once again a digital mm -hmm. event, but that does not mean we can't have just as much fun as we would IRL in Cologne. Cool. To bring Gamescom to you, cool. we have put together an awesome online program with lots of live streams, announcements, interactive elements, giveaways and more. For our German viewers, my colleagues and I will be live on YouTube and Twitch That's on nice. Thursday and Friday, 2 p.m. till 10 p.m. Central European Summertime with loads of new and exciting stuff, interviews, gameplay demos, fun activities, games, trailers. Can y'all not and be more. weird? Holy and shit. And for our entire international Chill audience, out. there will be all of that plus Fight. even more goodies and prizes to redeem. Just go, on go, the go, go fucking drug off the porn and then come Just back, watch the show. The Chill out. Our website and you can redeem Damn. all the free stuff, create your crazy. own schedule tailored to your interests, no, and control. participate in the Gamescom Epics quests that will unlock the vaults where we have hidden the really good prices. Okay, let's the see The best it. thing about that? Both. The Gamescom Now website and all live streams mm -hmm. for Gamescom 2021 are completely free. Wow. But for now, let's see what else we've got in store for you today. Dude, I love this game so much. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? Yes! And you had like all the little mini games that you would play? Oh, dude. Yeah, I had, dude, I had Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2 like on the GameCube, dude. Holy shit, do they have like the actual? Yes, and that was the same game they used to have. Wow. 
and had those two go for top banana. I don't remember the uh, that one there. I remember the golf. Wow. Yes, dude. Let's roll out. Play it super cat ball. It's super cat ball. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? How's a super cat ball? Oh man. Y'all, like, if you guys haven't seen Super Monkey Ball speedruns, you need to look at that. It's so good. Okay, next up, wow. a game that started is fucking by two awesome, Stanford man. University students out of their dorm. This summer, that is their so first cool. release, Splitgate, I'm, started I'm so setting happy, records man. with the open beta. More I'm than so 10 million downloads across PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Blending the best of arena shooters right, with the Split fun Gate. of portals. I, I never Tonight, seen this. It's about to get even more interesting I never seen this. with the it. reveal of Season Zero, which is dropping right now. With a okay. new map, Carmen Station 3, okay. the new infection mode, okay. and so much more. Yeah. Check it out. Okay. Damn. Damn! Bro, that's like the Instagib gun in fucking Unreal Tournament. This shit looks lit. Wow. This, was it Quake? Oh, I always get them too confused. Bro, this looks good. Oh my god. I actually want to play this. This is cool. It's Portal, but with guns. It's Portal and Halo. Portal plus Halo equals win. It's already out. I know it is. I might try this, man. This shit looks good. I'm going to fucking see what the hell is going on here, man. Give and the now, boys. here's play a brand new games. look at Riders Republic God damn. from Ubisoft. It's free? Yeah, I guess so. What the fuck? What's this, Riders? Oh, yeah, i seen this. Standing on the stage, got the whole place rocking. It's popping, no stopping. Standing on the station, hotel hopping. Hey, man. I've been hearing a lot about you. Playing lots and lots of potential. Whew, I'm Suki, by the way. Okay. It's been years competing at the highest level. What I discovered is that there's so much more to the Republic than meets the eye. What? It's about adventure, exploration, and What's connecting this, with the dude? outdoors on a whole new level. What's this? Suki D's not shut up, man. This place is called the Riders Ridge. It's the heart and soul of the Republic. Do y'all like friends, games like this? Riders and compete against well, each other. Well, we got Godzilla. <laughs> Yep. See, like, I've never been into these games. It's up to you to prove your worth in the like, Republic. Uh, like, Take there's, like, snowboarding games and shit like that back in the day. In the I never understood it. Mass races. That's, that's, that's rolling, tricky. Yeah, I remember that. Sponsors, I never got into them, And earn your never spot did. among the best riders the rich community has to offer. I really like to introduce you to someone. This is Brett. He's kind of a big deal. Okay. Bike, ski, wingsuit, legendary status in all three. Yeah, right. He's, He's an old ass man. He ain't doing a damn thing. Champions. Yeah, right. Okay, Sparky. That's some of, that's one dev that put himself takes, in the game, then, man. I'm willing to give you a shot. Bro, that's a dev that put himself in the game. Yeah, right. Tony Hawk all too. It's now time for you to win yeah, more than Yeah, but he gold. ain't Tony Hawk. Don't worry. We got your back. Now go yeah. get him. Yeah, right. I guarantee you, you look at all the devs that made this game, there's one dude who looks just like him. 100%. Add all this shit in the GTA? Oh, I'd love if they added extra shit like that in the GTA. I think that'd be fucking awesome. I'd love that. That'd be nice. That'd be real nice. Real cute. The Riders Republic beta started a few days ago for a selection Man, of I want to hear more about monkey balls. challenge each other in this massive about multiplayer monkey balls. outdoor sports playground. And we have some more news to share. I'm happy to be? announce that What'll starting now until August 28th, yeah. the beta is open for everyone for free 
on PC and consoles. Okay. You're invited to join frantic 50 player mass races, compete in a variety of multiplayer modes, wow. or to free roam in open world what? set within some of the most famous U.S. national parks. Wow. The game releases this fall on October 28th. To learn more, check out ridersrepublic.com. And now, let's check back in with Natasha. All right, not my cup okay, of tea, but it's okay. Let's get to our first award. There All are right, a go. lot of great games coming to Xbox in let's the next few months. Let's see what the first award and is. And we have narrowed it down to three very strong contenders. Which one of them will take the Gamescom Award behave, home tonight? Behave. The nominees for Best Microsoft Xbox Game are the action RPG Elden Ring How by do you know? From Software, it's not out yet. Ubisoft's first person shooter, Far Cry 6. The long-awaited yeah. Halo Infinite from 343 Industries. How do we know? And the winner for Best Microsoft Xbox Game 2021 Elden is Ring. Halo Infinite. Congratulations. Wow, I would have never guessed they would have voted Hi, for the round. I'm Greg play. Stone, and I'm the lead producer for the campaign wow. on Halo Infinite. And I'm Damon Kahn, That's the amazing. producer of multiplayer on Halo Infinite. And together, along wow. with all 343, we want to thank you for naming That's Halo crazy. Infinite That's best Xbox Damn, game. what? Since our start so together about, 20 years so ago, Halo has been synonymous with Xbox, and we look to continue that What a surprise that Xbox voted to Halo to be the best. And we want to thank the fans. Never Some of you that. got a chance to play the tech preview recently. Just know that there's more on the way. Great. Lastly, a giant thanks to the team. Without your tireless dedication, we would Great. Be here. Thank you. All right, now at least we get... Wait, what the hell is this? What? Oh, it's just a bunch of Xbox games. Yeah, sure. Oh my God. The Obama giving himself giving himself a medal meme. Yeah. Look, it's funny to me because like none of these games are even out. How do we know they're? they're how do you? How do you know? You're basing it off the trailer? Age Empires 4 game point? Yeah, we saw a little bit of it. There's Hades. Damn. Oh, here we go. Dude, I really hope Age of Empires 4 is good, man. Storm. What the hell is this? Oh, it didn't even show anything. That's too bad. Ooh. I remember like Halo 3 was ever they've already started giving out like those other armor sets with fucking badass. Yeah, Halo 2, they didn't really have anything. You could just like recolor your shit. That was about it. No Elden Ring? It's coming. It, it'll come, guys. Don't worry about it. Just wait, just wait for it. Real quick, real soon. Damn. The fire never fades. Damn. I That's cool. Like I mean good. Red Bull gives you wings. Look, this is a Mountain Dew Game Fuel stream. All right, this is a Mountain Dew Game Fuel stream. Look, let, let's be honest. Wait, what the hell is this? This is cool. Be a dragon. Wait, you can be a... Wait, what? Wait. This is... It's literally a game where you ride on dragons? Wait, yeah, when have they ever done this? Yeah, I think about that. Yeah, when have they ever done a game like that? Isn't he right on that dog? Oh my God. The game's really fun. Yeah, it's been a long time. I never thought of it. Oh. That is cool, I like that. What's this? Strikers Incorporated. Unreal Engine, cool. Now what? Bunch of chairs, wow. This better not be FIFA. Don't be FIFA. It's FIFA. It's FIFA. Man, this is a lot of work just to sell a microtransaction pack, man.
free to play. <laughs> Hello, folks. My name is Eugene. I'm the CEO at Striker Inc. Our studio has been founded to change the world of football okay. simulation games forever. I'd like to introduce you to UFL, a global online football league that will be available for free on all major console platforms. Cool. The key to success in UFL is your skill on and off the pitch. That's what we call fat to play gaming. Can't wait to share more, so stay tuned and have a fantastic Gamescom experience. That's cool, I guess. I'm not that excited about it. It has right. been a full oh, year here we go. since we've had an update on Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker are, saga. Are these games the first good? Time you get like, to play all nine films They're so off-putting the way they look Looks to me. like everyone's come out tonight. Jar Jar. Yeah. 3PO, everybody. All right, that changes today, though, with a brand new look at the game. We're so excited to show this to you. He's probably looking at the characters to make out. sure he didn't announce one that he wasn't supposed to. That's smart. Who's that? Oh, shit. Dude. Promise. Promise me you will train the boy. Yes, master. I was once a Jedi Knight. The same as your father. How did my father die? Uh, 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 yeah. Ready are you? What know you of ready? This is looks okay. The rebellion is reborn today. The war is just beginning, and I will not be the last Jedi. So it's got all the new ones too, basically. What you can play as Chewie? Oh my God. Damn, this has got all the games. I feel like the way they make Ray look, it just makes her look fat. Like, am, I, am I wrong for saying that? Just like, yeah, with the face, it makes her look fat. Like, what the hell, dude? Is Lego? Yeah, I know, but it's just the way the face looks. The scope of this is huge. They got like all the games or all the movies. I used to have those little droids as Legos. You know, I did think Kylo Ren was really cool. He's a really cool character. I liked him. The boy has no patience. He is not ready. I am ready. I. Ben, I, I can be a Jedi. Ben, tell him I'm ready. Uh, oh. Ooh. Yeah. For the past two know. years, Next What's Studios this? in Shanghai have been bringing to life their vision Synced for a new style planet. of shooter experience on PC. A game shit? called Synced Off Planet. Off it's planet. a new kind of companion shooter where teamwork what and tactics planet. are important but so are the enemy nanos. You can weaponize and have fight on your side. Okay. Tomorrow, I'll be hosting a special Gamescom showcase. More with content. Lots of in-depth info on Synced Off Planet. Crazy. But right now, here's the re-revealed trailer for Synced Off Planet. Okay, let's see it. I haven't seen this before. I'm excited. This is gonna be lit. The Morpheus chip. A revolutionary implant oh, that bridged shit. biological and digital. The Matrix. Soon they found a way to rearrange matter, but it went wrong. What? We were surrounded by nanos, and they turned on us. Billions of lives lost, the world we knew. So it is Over. the Matrix. But we found a way to sync with nanos. What the fuck? To control them. Now the remaining survivors are fighting back. Those of us left are trying to get on shuttles headed for the only safe Wait, y'all are saying this is the vaccine? Off planet. Oh my god. And the tech that almost destroyed us. Oh my... Man, y'all are crazy. Might just save us. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Y'all are crazy sometimes. That's I don't Next know. up, another fun surprise okay, for you guys. The Outlast Trials. It. In this horror survival game, you play yeah. a part of the Murkoff Corporation. You're a test subject in a controlled training facility in the middle of the Cold War mm -hmm. era. Red Barrels up in my home country of Canada has been Canada. hard at work on this game. Is that even real? you can real? face the trials solo or with up to three others in multiplayer. And tonight, I am so honored to world premiere the brand new trailer for this game, 
launching in 2022. Okay, wow. Not 2023. All right, new game. Is Outlast worth playing? What do you guys think? What do y'all think? It is? I, I never played one of these before. You were safe. Yeah. I'm your friend. Why did you come here? You presented yourself as able-bodied and eager to make improvements. What the fuck? But some scary ass shit. Is this a scary or portal? Yeah, it is, apparently. It's a bunch of mannequins or some shit. You can't hide from me. Oh my god. This is savage. Look at this. Wow. A productive member of society. Okay, now I'm scared. I heard that. I'm scared now. Fuck. Oh no. We are all going to get better. Wow. That's good. I'm so happy. That's good. We're all in it together. Yay. That's just what I think of when I think of a scary movie. Next up, something a little lighter. <laughs> We're going to head into the creature collecting open Great. world of Doke V from yeah. Pearl Abyss in South wow. Korea. This unique, vibrant world looks what a absolutely shift. beautiful. What you're about to see is actual and now for our next footage game. from this action adventure experience. It's, a, where it's you an ant eater that walks around to gain strength from with a bib dreams. on. Oh, fuck. What is this? Actual game footage. Okay. Don't have any expectations is what they're saying. It's gonna be special. What is... What? Dude, if I was nine, this game would be my shit. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Wait, they have rope. They got. They got escape. Wait, what? Oh, fuck. That's a little bit weird. Yeah. That... That's a, that's a, that's a weird champ for me. That's a big weird champ. But the rest of it's not like that. It's okay. Alright. This is cool though. Like, the game actually looks fucking cool. Like... Real shit. No memes. No cap on a stack. It looks good. Like... Oh, you get mounts? Oh my god. Black Desert developers? So where's the Awakened Warrior gameplay? <laughs> Except it's, it's a nine-year-old with a sword. The mount guy is up. This is kind of cool. It sounds crazy, but like... This game actually seems more appealing to me than many of the other ones I've seen before. It, it, it's ridiculous. Like, it, it's so ridiculous, but it's kind of cool. Lala fell Fortnite. Yeah. I'll be honest. Riding on the alpaca was really the selling point. Definitely. Is this the battle royale mode? What the fuck? Oh my god. What is this? Wait, what? I, I don't understand. They're skateboarding around and in the next frame he's fighting a dragon in the sky? What the hell? Dude, I'd love a game like this that was like open world. You could just have people playing in the open world. That would be so cool, man. We used to have a car like that, but it was a tractor. We'd drive it down and like I'd run it into my mailbox. 
We knocked it over. My mom got pissed. This is cool. Dude, if I was a kid, I would, oh my God, I would be so hyped for this. God damn. Dude, it's so crazy. Yeah. What the fuck? Wow. Yeah, I, I actually like. I, I hate to say it, I think that game looks. That one looks cool. so fun. Yeah. Back at Summer Game that Fest, Jeff cool. Goldblum joined me to reveal Jurassic World Evolution Two. Yeah. Now it's time to find out about the release date and get a first the look at the, the game play bad. of the yeah. simulation that lets you take charge of one of Super the greatest theme parks kids game. Yeah. of all time. That's awesome. Y'all don't like it? I don't know. I think I do. You're a paid actor. True. True and real. I do like it a lot, though. I think it's cool. Wow, these look like real dinosaurs. Oh my god. Holy shit. Dude, you're in control. Oh my god. Can you build like a really big dinosaur that just like kills everything? Dude, these are just like the real ones. Look at, oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. An eco dome. Real life dinosaur. They move in herds. I wonder when we're gonna be able to make dinosaurs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jurassic World. You know what the coolest one is? It's a Triceratops. What do you think about that? Those things are like, imagine that that shit was real. That's crazy. Never global warming. Oh, this is with that big old one, right? Yeah, I remember this. Damn. That's just a big shark. Who cares? Yeah, who gives a shit? That's just a big ass shark. Far Cry is a okay, franchise known for its incredible villains. And with Far Cry 6, the team at Ubisoft has perhaps found Hollywood's greatest villain. From Breaking Bad to The Mandalorian, yeah. Emmy nominated actor Giancarlo Esposito leads a talented cast as a dictator, Anton Castillo. I'm excited Anton about this Anton is willing game. to sacrifice his own people to turn his country into a paradise for his son to inherit. As Danny Smart. Rojas, you will join the gorillas who oppose him in their fight across the island nation of Yara. What if you, you like a deep side, story though? with compelling Seems characters, like Far Cry 6 yeah. should be at the top of your Plus list later right. this year. Let's take a closer look with the world premiere story trailer for Far Cry 6 coming this October. Okay, let's see it. Miss Tilly, I'm afraid I only have a few minutes. Let's get right to it. Hmm. Yesterday, your network, Yaravision, was hijacked by rebels. Oh, don't! Don't shoot! They called for oh. the liberation of so-called outcasts from Viviro labor camps. Is Viviro produced with slave labor? No! Viviro saves millions of lives. Do you think that those lives care where it comes from? You were imprisoned at the age of 13, the same age as Diego. You spend a lot of time with your father. He is a great teacher. A lion finds calm before the kill. Fire me! Damn. I understand you were forced to endure 15 years of hard labor, pruning tobacco. I hear you still have the blade. When Yara becomes paradise, my methods, no one will care. You are the only survivor. Damn. I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. A revolution is not won by the fearless. It's won by the fear. Welcome to Libertad, Danny. I have a vision. 
to rebuild paradise. A cure. Viviro, the most effective treatment for cancer the world has ever seen. Oh. Grown within our precious tobacco. That was tobacco. for erectile dysfunction. But our paradise comes at a cost. This our enemies will never understand. Out. Now. Your safety zone. <laughs> this you is all right. You want me to right? kill Anton Castillo? Yeah. Kill a dictator who has raped our land and turned our people into slaves? It's a vaccine. About it. No, guy, it's not the vaccine. What about you? You're gonna be a fucking guerrilla legend. Yes. Okay. I think the story is all right. I don't know if I really am that into the game. I'm not fearless. But I promise you one thing. The harvest of five key microchips. There are yeah. lions and there are lambs. Rule or be ruled. You are a lion, and we eat the fucking lambs. Seems good. Yeah, seems all I right. cannot wait to play that game and see Giancarlo in it. All right, uh, now it's time to catch up on Blood Hunt. We showed you this what free to play this? battle royale game from Shark Mob back fuck? at Summer Game Fest, and it just keeps I'm sure I saw better. this, but I uh, forgot what it was. Depending on which clan allegiance you go what is for, this? creating your own vampire, your play style can dramatically change, allowing for a broad range of ways to survive the night. Yeah. So tonight, we're going to get introduced to one of these clans and their traits. Okay, let's see it. Shark Bros. What is beauty? A scenic skyline. A striking garment. Perfect. Dude, vampires are always so hot, man. Are all of them a vampires? Though? Encounter. But it's like everybody in the city is a vampire? An aching kiss. Oh shit. A rallying cry in the oh, heat shit. of battle. An encouraging voice in a time of need. Stunning radiance that overwhelms the senses. That's cool. Where's the gameplay though? Like that's cool, but where's the gameplay? Deadly poise that knows no equal. Oh my god. A humbled foe begging for mercy. Jesus. Some die for beauty. We kill for it. We are artists. I honestly haven't been listening to anything she's been Toradol. saying. Wait, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I haven't been paying attention to anything that she was saying. <laughs> I've just been looking at the gameplay. <laughs> That's what I heard too, though, honestly. Yeah, it was kind of After a successful alpha weird. period of testing and improving the game, developers at Shark Mob are now ready for the next step. Early access on Steam begins September 7th. Liddy Catch on the all stack. the details and sign up now at bloodhunt.com. Damn. All right, up yeah, next, yeah. we all love a good amusement park, and we've missed oh. them this past year. Well, now it's time to give you the world premiere announcement of Park Beyond, a brand new take on Why theme is there park an octopus management in there? simulations from Bandai Namco and Limbic Entertainment what the fuck coming in is 2022 this? to PC and next gen consoles. Bro, well, I, I don't know, like. They made Dark Souls 1. I remember seeing that. Yeah. So, be honest. It's another classic, eh? It's, uh, it's a little old-fashioned, don't you think? Oh, nonsense. <laughs> Everything's brand new. They haven't made most of these rides since the 80s. For, um, some reason. The reason is so. that nobody wants to ride them anymore. But it's okay. Ooh. I think we just need a little help. Okay. Oh, it's us. Wow. And we can fix this whole thing ourselves. Oh, yes. Very Oh, my impressive. God. Oh, the engineering is going to Where the fuck is way. Elden Ring? <laughs> Listen, they're you saving the best for last. The That's what it's got to be, all right? Yeah, this don't worry. Roller coaster. I can feel the magic of it already. Wow. Vertical drops with enough Gs to make you giddy? Thrilling bursts of speed? Is this even possible? <laughs> Does it matter? Uh, no, of course not. Impossification! 
Okay. Wow. So, yeah, this is Elden Ring, guys. Yeah, this is Elden Ring. I remember I was talking to, uh, talking to my friend. Our success oh, never mind, never depends mind, never mind, never mind. on your never mind. creativity, my friend. Never mind. never mind. I'm not gonna say it. Who's the target demographic for this? Uh, teddy bears. Yeah, this game is, uh, it's, t yeah, teddy bears. And other, and other plushies. First announced last year at the PlayStation okay. Future of Gaming event, Jet, the Far Shore, comes from okay. Super Brothers and Pine Scented. Cool. An interstellar space adventure where you explore a mysterious planet in the hopes of carving out a future for a civilization on the brink of extinction. Okay. It's a little close to home. Today, yeah. we've got an exclusive new look and a release date. Jet is coming to PS5, PS4, and Epic Game Store on October 5th. Oh, so we can play this on PC. All right. Liddy. That's good. Now what? How's this game work? Okay. This is interesting. What is this, dude? Oblivion? I I'm... What the? What is this? What is the scope of this game? So you go to a brand new world. Can you like build stuff or what? Huh. It's an indie game. It's certainly a game. Huh. The ambience of it is really nice. I like it. Like the scale, where it's like so big. That's cool. Is this no woman's sky? Yeah. Man, that's such a cool idea, but like, what's the game? It's coming out in two months, one month, and we don't even have any gameplay in a trailer. Right now, it's time for an important development update from Gorilla about their highly anticipated Gorilla. PlayStation game, Horizon Forbidden West. What's this, Horizon? What is this? I've never, I haven't seen this before, unless it's what I think it is. Okay, here we go. Hi, everyone. Hope you're enjoying Damn, the show the so far. the graphics in this game are good. My name is Matthijs de Jonge, game Holy director shit. on Horizon Forbidden West. I'm here today to share some exciting news on our upcoming sequel. It's been a few right, months since we at Guerrilla were able to share our first gameplay experience as part of PlayStation State of Play. Okay. Giving you a glimpse of oh, where Alo's yeah. journey will take her next and showcasing exciting new elements. Because like they swimming, said she looked fat climbing, and people on Twitter, the girls on Twitter got mad more. about it. At that I time, remember this. Horizon yeah. Forbidden West had just passed a major milestone and we had entered the final stage of development. Remember on that? On track, but a bit uncertain if we would be able to polish the game to the level of quality that we strive for. this guy photoshopped for. makeup on her it's and no like a bunch of girls got fucking triggered. teams were hugely triggered. impacted by the global pandemic. We've been adjusting to new workflows and other challenges yes, while times. keeping our team safe and prioritizing a healthy work-life balance. But today we can uh, finally confirm that. that our long-awaited well, sequel will company. come to Maybe both PlayStation true. 4 and PlayStation 5 on the 18th of February 2022. Cool. And That's look cool. for pre-orders to start next week on the 2nd of September. We're so PS4. grateful to you, our amazing fans, you know what I call, for your my PS4 is for my Netflix account. We know how much you're looking forward to reuniting with yeah, Aloy and Netflix. her friends, continuing her story and exploring a new and dangerous world. 
your passion, fan art, cosplay, virtual photography and videos have meant the world to all of us. Oh, thank God. Before we go, there's one more thing to share with what you. What is it? And it's something our community has been asking about for a while now. What is it? What is it? The patch for 60 FPS support for Horizon Zero Dawn on PlayStation 5 is uh. live right now. And you can find more information on our social channels. What about From all of us at Guerrilla and PlayStation? Thank you for all your support and enjoy the rest what of the show. What about 144? Like 60 FPS? Amazon's new oh, world is shit. set to take us to the mystical land of Eternum Shh. on September Quiet. 28th Shut up. after a successful summer of playtests. Now we've got a brand new look at this MMORPG okay. as it heads towards new its world. open beta on September 9th. Let's go. And if you're watching Let's on go. Twitch, make sure to connect your account to get the Twitch drop of the Verdant Trapper apparel skin oh, by shit. watching 15 minutes of this very show. And Damn. after the world premiere, check out my interview with game director Scott Lane. Take a look. That's awesome. Okay, here we go. The stories you've heard. They don't tell the whole truth. It's the same trailer? Yeah, yeah. Did you guys get the drops? The island is indeed a place of legend. There is power and fast reaches. I want to be able to cut down that tree. I don't know who that is. I don't know. Yeah, I've never seen him as a but boss. But many who've sought to claim them have simply vanished without a trace. No gameplay? No, they'll have gameplay. Did they really do that? That's the, literally the first NPC you fight in the whole game. Your ship is stuck. This is the first NPC you fight in the whole game. Wow. Charge your course and your fate. That is cool. Yeah, that's the real gameplay right there. We can that's it. Nah, you can never catch me. No this corruption must be stopped. Cool. It's very cool. I'm excited to do this boss. That boss was fucking annoying, by the way. We did that one on beta. I will say a prayer for the souls of your crew. That's super cool. Play open beta. September 9th to 12th. I'll probably play one day of that. I'm actually so excited for the game, man. I'm so fucking That was the Gamescom the trailer for New World, and yeah. joining me now is the game director from oh, New World, shit. Scott Lane. Okay. Uh, Scott, how you doing? I'm great, Jeff. How are you? I'm great. You guys had a, a oh, very successful a closed beta test this summer, right? This Tell guy. us about it. Yeah. Yeah, we were thrilled and, and, and humbled by how that went. You know, over 1 million people showed up to play. I have that game, that pool game. there were 2 billion minutes watched on Twitch. And it was just so fun for the team to get to play alongside everyone, watch You're those welcome. streamers, and we got so much good feedback. The team is even more focused on shipping a great game than they were before. Now, the game is coming out uh, September 28th, but before then, there will be a public beta for fans? Yeah, we're opening it up to the public from September 9th through the 12th. So if you're not familiar with New World, come check it out. And if you want more information on how to participate, you can go to www.newworld.com. Before we go, I want to ask you about uh, post-launch content. Uh, what do you God, have uh, I know planned for players after uh, September I was going to put WFW. Well, we are completely yes. committed to making Eternum a living, breathing world that players will come back to again and again for years to come. Uh, so for us, launch is really the beginning. It's day one. Good. We're going to continue to add features. Dude, I well love beyond New launch, World. And we're going to continue engaging with the players yeah. to help drive our goals and where we take the game. I can't get specific on what we're talking yeah. about, but I can't give well, you some hints. Um, players have already been asking for more supernatural elements and more weapons, so we got a pretty cool way to combine those into a deliverable that they'll see shortly after launch. And then players have been asking for more group content and yeah. expeditions, so we're working toward that as well. Great. And then, you know, with the holidays right around the corner, I'm pretty excited to cool. see what that might look like on a tournament. All right, That's thanks so lady. much for joining us, Scott. Thanks, Jeff. That's it? Earlier, we had some Fuck. big Marvel game news, and today also marks the release of another Marvel game. I have more Marvel questions. Marvel is known for memorable characters and amazing storytelling. 
this next game is something that is sure after to excite yeah, fans no, New World the has world. done really Today well marks the release listening of to uh, first listening open to feedback. World action they have. RPG on mobile. That's why I keep giving it. game that allows players to customize their favorite superhero and experience a brand new action-packed story. Let's take a look When's at this Lost exclusive we'll launch see. trailer for Marvel Future Revolution, available yeah, to download hopefully they'll today talk about Lost for Art. free from the Apple App Store Allcraft? and Google Play Store. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Actually, like, I, I can't say right now. We'll, we'll see what we'll see what's going to happen. Yeah. It was an honor saving the world with you all. Is this Vision? Take care of it, my friends. Vision's a bitch. Earths from different dimensions have merged into one. The different dimension shit is always stupid. From the neighborhood. Yeah, I always think it's stupid. Like, never go into different dimensions. No world is ending on my watch. Yeah, no, in multiverse, I just... You can't win! Uh, man, so why do you guys like it? For me, I don't. I think, like, it removes, like, any rules that most of the time, like, games have. So you can have it to where like two Black Widows from different universes this can come together and make out with each other? Together. Welcome to Omega Flight. Wow. It's on a phone. Tales of Arise marks the 25th anniversary Yeah, multiverse of the isn't that bad. And the franchise enters a new era What's wrong on September with you? 10th. Here to celebrate yeah, Tales is Lindsay Sterling, performing a rearrangement of a classic Tales of Arise song. Okay, let's see it. Oh, there she is. Damn. Damn. God damn. Flash it. Wow. I still think this is so crazy that they do that. That's so badass to me. She's made a lot of good music. Yeah, I know. We saw her live uh, at BlizzCon. She played at BlizzCon a few years ago. Just dancing sounds fake? No, I have no idea if it is or not. I have no, I have no clue. I mean, it sounds cool. Right? That's what really matters. Wait, what the hell is this? What game is this? Look at her hands. No. I can't look at her hands and make a judgment off of that. Do you think I ever played a violin? I have no idea how any of this shit works. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Okay, I stopped. I couldn't even play a recorder. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, I could just, I could appreciate this because I'm stupid, okay? But even if you're complaining, it's like, it, it, it's it's synced or whatever. No, I, I could appreciate this, like, yeah, it's great to me. It's just fine. No problemo. Yo, we've got a violin expert, that's good. Where's the Valheim part? That's one thing I'm curious about. Yeah, where's the fucking Valheim part? It's not fake. Of course, of course it's not fake. You literally see her. She's right there. I cannot do that. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I cannot fucking do that. What is that? I just know it. It is fake. Yeah, that's no way. Flexible, I see that. Oh my god. Damn. Tales of Arise. That's a pretty good trailer, man. I think this game might actually be good. Thank you, yeah. Lindsay. That was so beautiful. Uh, That's incredible. The Tales of Arise demo is wow. out right now. While Tales of Arise brings the Tales of franchise to a new era on console, this isn't the only place where the franchise mm -hmm. grows and evolves to. That's right, it's time for a new game announcement. Here's the new Tales of title for iOS and Android. It's a phone game. 
It's a fun, what we announced in phone games at the Game Awards. We're gonna be announcing phone fucking game. What the fuck are we doing announcing phone fucking games in the phone? What the what you don't don't you don't y'all have phone? Don't you have a phone? Yeah, I do. I do have a phone. You know what I do on my phone? I browse Twitter, see who's saying bad shit about me. This is the game I play on my phone. Fucking idiot. People talking shit about me. Do you believe that? Wow. Tales of Luminaria. Wow. I have very little expectations for phone games. I'm not a phone game kind of guy. I'm just not. Check out the Tales of Arise yeah, demo that thing. is available right now. Okay, this is the game that it was showing in the cinematic. Play the demo now. This looks... That looks good. Okay. Cool. Play the demo now. That looks just like a Ravager from Hellfire Peninsula. Next it looks up, okay. we have yeah, two more awards for you. It's a best game. Nintendo yeah, Switch game and best PC game. Okay. The Nintendo Switch has become a daily companion for many people, so let's see which games might bring us joy on long train Super rides Mario next Maker year. Two. These are the nominees. The best game. It's the best Mario game. Mario plus Rabbits Sparks of Hope by Ubisoft. Nope, that's ridiculous. Just Dance 2022 are you kidding also me? by Ubisoft. And the winner for Best Nintendo Switch Game 2021 is... Mario Plus Rabbits Sparks of Hope. Congratulations. I'm Davide Soliani, Creative Director on Mario Plus Rabbits Sparks of Hope. On behalf of the I... entire team in Ubisoft, I wish to thank you oh for voting for us. We are deeply oh honored God. by your support and Two so games. excited to show you more about the game games. when the time why come. did Peach look like a Winning like her face got melted best off? Nintendo Switch game at Why did Gamescom that happen? 2021 means a lot Why? to everyone working on the project, and we cannot wait for you she a to rabbit? experience this cosmic adventure. Man, what's been Thanks going a lot, on in Gamescom, Mario? Thanks a lot, Gamescom, and see you soon. And on PC, okay. every game from the biggest AAA productions to the tiniest one-man shows is just one viral tweet away from becoming the next big hit. One viral tweet. Nominated for Best PC Game 2021 okay, are the up-and-coming strategy hit Age of Empires 4 by Relic Entertainment. From Software's Elden Ring. What? Siberia, the world before from Microids and Coalabs. And the winner of the Gamescom Elden Award Ring? for Best PC Game 2021 is... Siberia, The World Before. Congratulations to Coalabs and Microids. Hi, I'm uh, Lucas, the lead writer and game director of Siberia, The World Before. I just wanted to thank uh, the Gamescom's jury for awarding us today. So uh, thank you very much, guys. Uh, thank you. On the behalf of all the team. <gasps> what? I don't even know what this um, game is. All, you know, amazing people. Uh, Dude, working very, very these award like things the are so possible. stupid. Like, and of course, I what is this? For Benoit Sokal and his family. Um, Benoit was the creator of the Siberia series. What? And uh, we miss him. We miss him a lot. Uh, well, I think that's it. Uh, thank you again. And I think there's someone else who wants to say you something now. Great. Bye bye. Hi everyone, Inan Zur here, and I'm so happy to be the composer for Siberia the World. I don't, I don't need this one. I just. I wanted to congratulate the visionaries, yeah, I just developers, need this one. and whoever contributed to this amazing game okay. on to their great yeah. achievement. And I cannot wait to share with you what's to come. Hi, this is Tiny DePass. I'm the founder and director of I Need Diverse Games, a not-for-profit based in Chicago, Illinois. Okay. Welcome to the rest of opening night of Gamescom Live. It's absolutely crucial to make sure that the pathway into games is as accessible and supported and inclusive for members of underrepresented groups. 
as it is for anyone else. What does that have the to do with Elden Ring? Seeing someone, whether they are someone who looks like you, someone who acts like you, someone who enjoys the same things that you do, that experience can sometimes be life changing. A game for those who seek to find a way to leave their world. Where's the Elden Ring? Like, yeah. Is this Pando? What the? What the? Team up. It's Jamon. Bro, this is Jumanji. another phone game. The curse returns. Wait, Coming no, it's soon. not. The original Jumanji was really good. My dad and I watched it a lot. Could he possibly have hired someone else to kill the guy instead? And where are they now? You think these lunatics are still hanging around Eugene Cho? No, no. What's the gameplay? What the hell is this? Don't underestimate me. Yakuza? Yeah. yeah. I've never seen this before. I never played one of these games. I'm excited about this. Tentatively. Only tentatively. Lost Judgment. Cool. To see even more of Lost Judgment, watch IGN's Gamescom show where they will have a full seven minute trailer debut of the game cool. on their ONL post show. Now it's time for some news from globally celebrated electronic artist Dead Mouse. He's seen all oh, these shit. virtual concerts and said he wanted to do one better to create his own persistent spot in the metaverse, a living world that will evolve with his fans. Oh, it's shit. called Oberhasi and it's coming to core a platform for user-created multiplayer games and worlds this fall. Here's your first look. All right, let's see it. What is up, Gamescom? This is your good friend, Joel, professionally known as Deadmau5. Yes, that is the correct way to pronounce it. Tell your friends. We're here to talk really? to you I thought all it was about Dead Mouse. Oberhossley and Core and bringing game development to the masses. What Oberhossley the hell? Oberhossley is going to be just a really great place for Deadmau5 fans to come and hang out with their friends and cross-communicate. And yeah, what the hell? Various activities. Am I getting trolled? I'm getting trolled. Experiences. We've seen virtual concerts. We've been there. We've done He's that. He's memeing no on himself to it. as so he introduces himself. Hossley That's are good. Switching it up and keeping it cohesive. He just said Dead Mouse. I know that. I know. You know what's happening with Dead Mouse and the tour? The music yeah. and the releases have some longevity to it. Be upgraded. It would be the gateway to the brain of Joel in the world of Core. <laughs> The thing about core, of course, is people who are okay. passionate about world building are building this huge gamut of any world building stuff, games. Whether are super it's a popular. racing game or a FPS, a battle royale, the yeah. variety was amazing. My first day in core, I found this game called Merge Landia, and I did a 12-hour non-stop grind on it. It was just so That's addicting. That's a good start. If you like counting spaghetti, this game is like for you. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of variety on there. So if you're an avid gamer like myself, launch core and just browse. Your dead mouse used to stream. Got hooked on something within the first hour. It's great. I think he streamed for quite a while, actually. There's a friend of mine who used to play PUBG with him. He still does. Really? Yeah, I wasn't sure about that. He does. Yeah, I know he got banned or something, and then like Thanks, I don't know. And now here's okay. the next big thing coming go. to Fall Guys. With season five in full swing, Guns. Disney and Fall Guys are teaming Guns. up again to bring the perfect guest to your jungle themed shenanigans. Master Chief and Fall Guys with a gun. And the energy sword. Wait, what the hell? Tarzan? What the fuck? Aw, oh, look at that, dude. Look at that, dude. I do like this game a lot. I don't know why, but I just do. It reminds me a lot of the good old days, man. I bet the levels are so hard now. The jungle book. Bro, like, give us at least a good one of the Disney movies. Give us, like, Hercules now, or something. Now, one game that shit. got a lot of attention in June was replaced from Sad Cat Studios. Okay. The team is hard at work on the game. Yeah. But didn't want to give a quick little jungle. tease I never of liked their jungle progress. Book. And news on that incredible yeah, song dude. in the trailer from the Xbox game yeah, showcase. Yeah, I never YouTube. did. Dude, Hercules was a shit. Okay, here we go. Let's see it. What's this?
Damn, the graphics on this game suck. Look, they can't even figure out the grass. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? What is this? Oh, he pressed pause. He got replaced. Oh, shit. Okay. Cool. Trailer song now available. I'm listening to that tonight. All right, All right. it care. wouldn't be yeah. games. Age of Empires, a whatever. It doesn't matter. Yep. Let's game. talk about Age of Empires. This year, Age of Empires 4 okay, is go. in full force with an exclusive gameplay reveal for you. A new campaign and a new civilization showcase leading into its release on October 28th. Damn. Check it out. That's real soon. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. I'm ready for it. Give it to me. Let the me get it. The pages of history are filled with moments that determine an empire's fate. Every decision can be the difference between rising to power Damn. or being lost to history. Damn. How will you grow a small fort into a mighty empire? Dude. God, dude. I, I, I cannot wait to play the new game. I think I might go through and play through all the campaigns. I think that's so cool, man. I fucking love that shit. I absolutely do. This trailer's amazing. Yeah, this is really cool. Every oh, empire, no matter how large, came from humble beginnings. Oh, shit. Some invested in advancing technology to create the most powerful armies. Yeah. How will you use your resources to rise above wow. the rest? Wow. Wow. No gameplay. It's okay. Wait, was he just... Did he just mind control somebody? Yeah, there's some gameplay right there. That looks good. Whoa. Yeah, I hit him with the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I feel like the graphics and everything about this look great. Yeah. Plays like Age of Mythology. Yeah, I can see why you'd say that. I never really played Age of Mythology that much. Earlier this year, Valheim, a brutal exploration and survival game for one to ten players, took over Steam and it sold yes. over seven million copies. This dude, just this under game was months. so big, man. Of over five hundred. Okay, everybody players, focus. Shut up. Game to do so in Steam history. Well, tonight, Iron Gate and Coffee Stain are excited to announce Valheim's first content update, Hearth and Home, has a release date. This update focuses on base building and survival experience. Builders and cooks are going to have a field day. Awesome. Here is the beautifully animated trailer. Let's see it. Here we go. Let's see it. Give it to me. Let me get it. Let me get it and get at it. When the grass grows underfoot, the sky is blue overhead. There will always be a hearth and home. This motor? Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn. This is awesome. You get motors, hey? Oh yeah, yeah you do. This is awesome. Oh my god. Show a serpent. Damn. Damn. Those are the green ones. That means they're the two star ones. They're dangerous. Wow, this is so awesome. Damn. With the dragon's head. <laughs> Why the blue eyes? I don't know. I think it's probably just, uh... I don't know what it is. Wait, that's it? No, nah, no. Nah. Let, let's get some more. Let's get some more. Come on. Give me, give me the gameplay. September 16th. Holy shit. That's really fast. Uh, I might play that whenever and it comes out. And I've got out. one more award to announce tonight. 
PlayStation is also expecting to get a whole bunch of awesome titles in the near okay. future. So Let's picking the best one turns out to be a real challenge. Is it going to be Elden Ring? These are the three nominees for best Sony PlayStation I swear to God, if they put Elden Ring on the list again, I'm going to go crazy. Once again, the promising Elden Ring by From Software. The 17th installment in the Tales series, oh Tales of Arise from what Namco Bandai. What is this? The horror game, The Dark Pictures, House of Ashes to God, by if Elden Super Ring Massive doesn't Games. Win this. And the winner for Best Sony PlayStation Game 2021 after all these nominations is Elden Ring. Congratulations. So that's why they didn't give it the win for all the other ones. Oh, culmination of know-how we've gained over the last 10 years. Everyone's working to ensure the game provides a fresh experience for all of our players. Those familiar with us have high expectations, we hope to give new players something to look forward to as well. That's good. What they mean to say is it's not going to be as hard as Sekiro. Wait, what the hell is this? Yeah, it's not gonna be as hard as Sekiro. Dude, yeah, I thought that, dude, at like first second, I'm like, since when do you get a gun in Elden Ring? Like, what the fuck? What do you mean, dude? What do you mean? Oh my god. Dude, Elden Ring, like, the scope of this game is huge now. What the hell? Wow. Jesus. Jesus. The boogeyman. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Journalists might be able to finish all the time. Yeah. Crossfire. That's cool. That's cool. The guys, like, we're thrilled. Yeah. Hello, Gamescom. And welcome to Opening Night Live. This I'm is Joaquin the lead singer of Sabaton. Sabaton. And today we'd like to show you our new song and video, Steel Commanders, that we did together oh, in War Gaming shit. and World of Tanks. And we cannot wait to play this song live. And hopefully we'll be able to play live oh, again soon. Oh, shit. So, until then, let's battle. Damn, dude. Dude, playing war games or like medieval games and listening to Sabaton is like, that is a fucking vibe, man. It's so good. Oh my god. True? Yeah. Gamer music, yeah. Tonight. For one night only, okay. Team Fordzilla is back on the road, and you can watch us live on Twitch. How many We're of these do we have to go through? The good stuff you know us Just for. make the text smaller, I can't read it. Win a Mackie for three months. Nobody... Go to Who wants that? Slash Team Fordzilla after Give us a Mustang. For your chance to watch. My front's the money for a Shelby live. Cobra, bro. What the fuck? Who wants to, who wants to try to win a minivan? Gives you wings. Wow. Yeah, bullshit. Genshin Impact continues to deliver meaningful updates to fans, and now it's time for its first crossover character, Aloy it's from Horizon, who's set to join the game in the 2.1 update on PlayStation on September 1st, and on all platforms for version 2.2. How much is it? Here's a first look at her in action. I wonder what she's gonna do. Aloy here. If I have to share something, it'll be my bow. In the service of people who need the help. Bitch is gonna be down another 10 grand going for this one. I know it's free, but he's gonna spend that much anyway. Oh no. Yeah, he's gonna be down 10 grand for this. Cause like, she's gonna have like extra abilities and stuff you have to buy. Yeah, unlock her spells. Yeah. That's how they get you in. Genshin Impact. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, dude. Genshin Impact, yeah, games that, like, I just... And that's not all, Genshin Impact fans. We I also have some not. breaking news to share with you about a special event planned this fall. I bet the it's Genshin not. Genshin Concert 2021, Melodies of an Endless Journey, to celebrate the game's one-year anniversary. Coming this October, here's a sneak preview of the Flanders Symphony Orchestra in Belgium performing a theme familiar to Genshin Impact players. Cha-ching! <laughs> There it is. That's the theme, guys. I think I would play Genshin Impact if it did not have all that, that bullshit in it. I would. It looks like a good game. I like how they, like, superimpose a bunch of anime girls on there, you know? What was... Slow Clap revealed Sifu earlier this year, and recently I had a chance to go hands-on and play the game. Trust me, guys, it plays just as good as it looks. It reminds me I don't of want the to fluidity trust of combat Jeff, in the Batman the Arkham game. games with the precision of a fighting game. This really does feel like a classic show us the kung game. fu film with realistic raw combat. You play a young kung fu student that has spent their okay. life training for that day of reckoning after an assassination squad brutally murdered your entire family. Well, today I'm excited to Damn. share the news that Sifu has a release date. Here's a sneak preview. Okay, we get to see the game. I was about to say. Okay, third person. That's good. Why don't somebody pull out a gun, man? It's like somebody just pull out, pull out a gat. Pull out a gat, just get this done. Yeah. <laughs> Just roundhouses are right in the face. Yeah, dude. That's real equality, right? Oh my god. Wait, did he just stab him in the dick? Bro, he's beating the shit out of two different women, stags another dude in the dick, man. Maybe this game's gonna be alright. Oh my god, this shit's out of control. What the fuck? We still have more to show you, but right Let's now we're it. going to head back to Germany to check in with Natasha. Take it away. Two, Thank two, you, two. Jeff. What the hell is it? Oh. Once, there was a time when gaming was a niche and gamers were only a tiny group of people without a lot of influence. But now, yeah. we are millions. We are one of the biggest communities in the world and thus, we can help change the world. One way to do this is with the Twitch Gamescom Prime. reforestation program where we can plant oh. a whole forest. Why would... How are you... What are you going to plant an imaginary From the tree? creators of Plant Turismo, Leaf what are you of Legends do? Plant and Pinecraft. Released in 2020, Expansion Pack 2021. What the hell? Launch soon. Gamers Gamescom rise up. Gamescom forest. Not a game. But a game-changing project. What? Thousands of trees were donated by the best community. How are you playing metal music for making trees? Oxygen even more than a good Wi-Fi signal. Oh my Save God. a bee, plant oh a tree. Oh my. Let's grow. Oh my. The games come forest. I don't even know what this is. Is this and that's a game? it for me tonight. I hope you had a blast and are excited for all the new games coming in the We're next so month. We're so excited. Don't forget to check out Gamescom Now and our German live streams the most on excited. Twitch and YouTube for even more games and talks and fun. Thank you very much. Great. I'll see you tomorrow. Back to you, Jeff. Thank you so much, Natasha. Now, back in June, we were joined by Hideo Kojima to okay, announce Death go. Stranding Director's Cut for PlayStation 5. Tonight, Mr. Kojima has prepared an in-depth video to give you a look at the gameplay and All many right, of the new it. features, missions, and more that you'll encounter when the game arrives on PlayStation 5 on September 24th. So please, sit back, relax, and enjoy an extended look prepared just for opening night live at Death Stranding Director's Cut. Okay, cool. Let's see it. Let's see it. Uh 
upgraded for PS5. With, oh. Bro, the text is so far apart, I can't read it. I, I can't read the text. Why'd I have a baby in there like that? What the fuck? The definitive edition. Yeah, what the hell? Okay, all right, let's see. Man, how's he carrying a refrigerator on his back, man? Oh my god. This is like games where inventory is real. There are now new items that allow for easier and safe delivery. Okay. One of the new items cool. is the Evolve Stabilizers, which features thrusters that help reduce the impact of landing when jumping from higher areas. That's cute, nice, happy about that. Wow. That's great. The cargo catapult is a cannon-like device that can launch your cargo over long distances. What? Oh! Amazon should have these. Enabling you to develop even more creative ways to deliver your cargo safely and yeah. more efficiently. This is Amazon Delivery Simulator, apparently. You should have more faith in yourself. That's cute. Very cute. Your trusted partner, the BuddyBot, has increased capabilities also. If you want to move around comfortably while carrying more cargo, you can rely on BuddyBot to assist you. Is he a microtransaction? Load up what you want to deliver. Wait. And leave the cargo carrying you. He can just buddy. carry you too? You can relax and think about what He's you need. He's a slave. Yeah, you have a slave delivery. now. That's great. <laughs> Oh my god! Wow. Oh my god. Is this game any good? I never played it. I've heard uh, mixed reviews about it. Yes, no, yes, no, it's great, it's awful, it sucks, it's garbage. It plays the game for you. No, it's terrible. Walking Simulator, it's amazing. Story's amazing, dude. Walking Simulator. The firing it's good, but not has for been everyone. set up in the basement yeah, okay. of the facility. Very mixed reviews. Practicing how to handle your weapons could level up your delivery skill okay. set. You can also train and compete for the highest score. I just feel like every time I see this, it's like I think about like being an Amazon worker. That's the only thing I can think of. It's the most divisive game ever, yeah. It seems that way to me. Oh my god. Okay. He's avoiding shit, I like that. There it is. There it is, dude. Okay, oh shit. The As combat you seems the kind game, of uh you'll also be able to that unlock great. new missions and weapons. Damn. The Mazer gun is one of the new weapons that will be introduced. Yo, he just got disenchanted. He got disconnected out it the server. It sustained stun damage to enemies. Wow. Boss battles can now be revisited and fought as many times as you like. Oh, that's cool. Via your I like that. Room. Yeah, Sekiro added that recently too, I believe. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. I, I think, I mean, this game looks cool, right? I mean, you've got like a fucking Kraken that you're fighting against. It's covered in oil. Just light the bitch on fire. Oh, it's in water. But no, it doesn't matter. This water doesn't make up. Your scores fire. will be shared yeah. in the all new online ranking system, allowing you to compete with players from around the globe. That's cool. So we can have esports now. Eight uh, new tracks have been added players. in the music player. You can listen to the tracks in the private Bring room. Bring me the horizon. It will oh help you God. and Sam relax after a long day of travel. It's so weird, dude. It's so weird. What's the baby in there for? What the fuck, dude? Play the game, bro. Yeah, true. I guess I have to. Enter at your own risk. Okay, here's the actual gameplay. Let's see it. All right, here it is. Let's go. Go on after grandma over there. 
new action-packed delivery missions have been added. Okay. What the fuck? You just hit one button. That's it. What truth will Sam unfold in the mysterious facility? I thought this was supposed to be action packed. This is the one they showed in the previous trailer where he gets in the box. Oh shit. Oh shit. How are they not gonna see this giant ass refrigerator coming out? Like my mini fridge is smaller than that. Oh, he threw a grenade at him. That's not any grenade, that's just a briefcase. Is this what Amazon employees have to go through every day in order to get my prime packages there on time? I mean, it is, right? Like, this is so damn, man. We've also added jump ramps, enabling you to jump over valleys and crevices with ease. That's cool, yeah. You can even do tricks. That's actually just like straight up, that's just cool. I like that. Ultra Omega Extreme? Yeah, of course. Wow. What what happens if it just gets away from you though? Yeah. There Wait. is a new racetrack. You can time attack with other SAM players what? from all around the world who are connected online in the rankings. What? What is this? Oh my god. Was this in the original game? This is nuts. No, yeah, this is... I didn't think so. I, I never saw this before. Wow. Cool. The director's cuts now for the games is just a way to get you to buy another game that's the same game, except for it's got more features in it. It's like you're buying an expansion. That's what it is. Wow. Is there gonna be some giant sea monster? What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? That's a whale. Yeah, that's a, that's a, it's a sperm whale. Oh my, it's Bismarck. Oh Amazing. shit. Well, that is going to do it for opening night live. Wow. But there is much more Gamescom to go and more reveals tomorrow and Friday. Gamescom oh. is not over just yet. Oh. And I will see you again this December more when the content. Game Awards returns live around the world for our biggest celebration yet of the world's biggest and most powerful form of entertainment. That's crazy. Uh, but before then, in October, I'm happy to announce, no, I'm not going to be in Monkey Ball, but I will have a cameo in Disney Plus's upcoming Halloween special, Muppets Haunted Mansion. I'm I can't sorry, believe Jeff. this is happening. I'm sorry That's they had the preview of me. They... I got to film this earlier this year. Can't believe it. Video games are taking me everywhere. All right, well, thank you so like much you, for watching. Like, have a great Gamescom. We'll see you that again soon. Look like you, man. See ya. Like, what do you mean, dude? What do you mean, dude? Where? What the fuck, dude? What is this, man? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Lost art. Listen, all right, it's fine. You know why it's going to be fine? It's because, net, dude, tomorrow, bro, dude, tomorrow, they're going to do like a tit. There's going to be like a a, a 17-minute Elden Ring gameplay trailer where you just get to watch the gameplay. And then after that, they're going to give us a release date for Lost Ark. The, the beta is going to start on Saturday. And, uh... They're not gonna have that microtransaction shit. Yeah, so listen, it, it's okay. Like, there's no reason to get upset about it, right? That's totally fine. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it, boys.